I'm Julia, I'm a student from Germany. I study here at the Master's Graduate School of Governance and the United Nations University and I'm doing a double degree in public policy and human development. And uh, I joined the Premium Project, first of all, to get a little bit more guidance on, the, on my career path, but also to really work on a project hands-on. And I was really interested in the project behind me, which was on ICT use and population displacement, which is also for the United Nations University. So what we did was we tried to analyze how ICT can be used in natural disaster response. So what you can see here is basically, first of all, a world map. And we can see, or what we find out, is that basically the American continent, but also the Asian continent, are predominantly affected by natural disasters. Uh, in our research we found out that um, there are different approaches in order to deal with uh, these kind of situations. First of all, big organizations, for example, governments, international organizations and youth, NGOs are using ICT in order to respond to natural disasters. On the other hand, also ICTs are used by the local population after a, a disaster response. So, um, what we saw here, or what you can see here, are the emergency telecommunication cluster and SARC. SARC is more a government organization operating in South Asia, and the ETC is an organization or is a cluster operated by the World Food Program with many different partners. So, for example, from uh, the private sector, but also from the public sector. Um, they are sending disaster response help to affected locations. So uh, we picked out several case studies. First of all, we picked out Haiti, where there was a devastated earth uh, devastating earthquake in 2010. And we saw that the ETC sent out help there. What they did was they were trying to restore connectivity, they were trying to restore internet connections in the country in order to really see how they can help the affected population in order to better communicate with them. Um, it took a while until the connectivity was restored. It took approximately four weeks, which was a little bit too long. Um, but they learned a lot from the Haiti case, actually. So what we can see in the Philippines, there was this uh, super uh, high, um, typhoon, Haiyan it was called, it was in 2013. And um, we saw there that the uh, cooperation amongst the organization worked much better. So they were able to restore internet connectivity within only seven days. Um, I could go into much more detail also about how Facebook is used, how blogs are used in order to um, help affected populations, um, especially one case study is uh, Hurricane Katrina where blogs were used and what they did there was um, over blogs sending out text messages, I need help or I can provide help, if you need a shelter you can come to my place for example. That was kind of how blogs were used there. Um, SARC was also very much in, in South Asia as I already explained a little bit earlier. Um, but the basic finding what we saw is that ICT is in becoming increasingly important in disaster response. So international organization, local communities, everybody is using now ICT. But the most important part is that you first of all have an infrastructure on which you can build up on. Um, yeah, and we found out all of these things while doing desk research, but also while doing interviews with people from the end, for example, from the International Labour Organization, from UNICEF, from the World Food Programme, from Ericsson Response. So that was very interesting and I really enjoyed working for it. In Premium, you have highly motivated people who are all willing to work. So for us, maybe it was just an exam or an exception, but our group work went very smoothly. Uh, we were very friendly, we were very cooperative, you could rely on the people. If somebody tells you, I'm working on it, you can rely, they are really working on it. So I, I really like that. Um, we had, a, first of all, a really nice competence coach, uh, Tobias, uh, who met individually with us, he also met with us in a group. And what I learned from him, it was first of all a question, what do you want to improve of your, of, from yourself? And I was like, oh, phew, it's a tough question and I really had to think about it. But then I realized, okay, maybe I need a little bit more guidance on how to organize all that I have to do. So together we set up a plan on how I can build up my calendar, how I can really keep my appointments and that helped me a lot. But also he, um, he came to our group work and he talked to our entire group in, together and we were talking about how we can communicate better and that was really helpful.